live Kali martial arts training video, you're going to discover some power drills that you can do right now to increase your stopping power using your Kali martial arts or screaming martial arts, also known as our niece martial arts, self-protection sticks. So these self-protection sticks you can use as a self-protection tool, self-defense tool, however you want to think about it. But you have to create stopping power. And the first thing that happens is I'm training a new student. I see almost all of the strikes coming in, but not completely coming through. So there's no full extension of the arm or the elbow. A lot of times it's just like this, it's still bent and there's not enough power there. So if this is my target, I can hit fast. I can move quickly and this is a slashing weapon, but it's also a weapon that can generate stopping force for self-protection. So to get power out of your Kali martial arts strike, you need to start by extending those elbows on your strike. So starting from your shoulder, extending through. The second thing you have to do to generate stopping power, this power drill using your Kali martial arts stick is turning your shoulders and your hips. Just like a martial arts strike, any kind of strike with a punch or a kick, you generate stopping power when you fully extend, and then secondly, you turn through the shoulders and the hips. When I'm teaching a new student, you'll show me the strike and it's not extending, and then it's also just coming from your arms. This is very common. It's not anything you're doing wrong, it's just that you haven't learned the next level yet. To generate stopping power, you have to turn through the target. So you have to have this intention of going through and actually stopping the attack. Using these for self-defense, as a self-defense tool, Kali martial arts sticks are designed to slash striking here, but also to push through the target and stop them. You'll uh, gener or generate so much force, you'll shock yourself when you start to fully extend and then turn through on all your strikes. Remember, always come from your shoulders. The third thing you have to do, the third part of this drill is moving your body into the attack. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna drop the camera just a little bit. And good morning, everybody, it's good to see you. I just had a couple minutes to make this video. I wanted to make it last week, I ran out of time. I need to move in with that front foot as the strike is coming through. So if it's coming through on the right side from the right shoulder, my right foot comes forward, but then you're gonna switch your feet and strike in when it comes from the left shoulder, still the right hand, stepping in with the left. You're gonna practice the drill is stepping in, stepping in. When you strike from this side, that's my left foot. When I come from the left, step with the left, step in with the right when you strike with the right. I'm gonna bring it back up. And I have for you later today, I found a solution. If you don't have a bag, you don't have anything that you can hit, but you wanna get some more resistance when you train, I'm gonna show you how you can take a couple of $1.99 pool noodles. If you go to Dollar Tree, right now they have pool noodles down here for a dollar a pool noodle. Get three pool noodles and we're going to stick a pole in the middle, an old broomstick, and in this case it can be any material, three pool noodles on the outside, some Dollar Tree uh, tape, what they call it, duct tape, and now you have a striking force. You can stick that almost anywhere, put a little bit out of the end, you can dig it into the ground, and now you have something to practice your Sinawali, and all your other Colleen martial arts strikes. But going back, the three things you have to do to create stopping power with your Colleen martial arts sticks is extend the arm all the way, practice this, and see if you're not doing this. Almost everybody I worked with at the beginning, the elbow's still bent. So they're just having a little bit of turn in that wrist, but they're not having that full extension. You can hear the difference. If I'm here, it seems like I can go faster. It's not really faster. When I extend here, I'm now pushing in and through the target. For self-defense, I want to go in and through the target and put them on the ground for self-defense using my Kali martial arts sticks. The second power drill is turn the shoulders and the hips, the shoulders and the hips, turning through and turning back, turning through, turning back. Almost everybody, at the beginning, including me, starts and it's just arms. We know that that's not enough stopping power for self-defense. If you're using Kali martial arts sticks as a self-protection device, 
self-protection tool, you're gonna have to turn through your shoulders and your hips to generate maximum stopping power, maximum stopping force. The third thing I want you to do is step in from the angle, step in with the foot, depending on which side of your body your stick is coming from. So extend that arm, turn the shoulders and hips, and step with the right. And then when it comes to your left shoulder, step in with the left and turn through the shoulders and hips, full extension with the left. Whether you follow through to here or if you strike and you pull back, you're still going to extend the arm, turn the shoulders and hips, and lead stepping in. Anytime you get your body in motion, if I'm just here and I'm trying to push somebody back, I have arm strength, arm power. If I start to turn my shoulders, now I have body power, but when I move my front foot, it's easy for me to blast that guy, get him out of my face for self-defense. If I'm doing that with sticks, now I have to use a self-protection tool that has a little bit more bite. I'm going to step in with that foot, generate maximum stopping power. So try those three things. Extend the arm, turn the shoulders and the hips, and move the foot in. And again, if it's coming from, if it's, we'll just put the other stick down. If it's coming from the right side, step in with the right. If it's still on the right hand, but it's coming from the left side, step in with the left. You should be doing that anyway, but it's time for you to start to add that if you're not doing it now. Practice stepping and stepping, no matter where the strike is going, no matter what angle it's coming from, no matter how high or how low you're striking, step with that foot. You do those three things, extension, rotation, and move your body with a step. You're gonna generate maximum stopping power with those power drills using your calling martial arts sticks. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I'm gonna teach a private lesson and I'll be right back. Thank you.